What do you look for in a bike shop? Well, me personally, top of the list has to be a good coffee and good cake. Have cool bike brands, nice kits, you know, in case you want to treat yourself to a new pair of shorts or jersey or even socks. Um, and I mean, it would be cool if they had a bike track next to the shop. Well, you know what? I think that I found a bike shop that has all that. So seeing as I'm out here for the first ever Women's UAE Tour, I thought I'd come and visit a bike shop that I've heard a lot about. When Alex was out here last year, he said it was something quite special. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and see what it's all about. Wow, this bike shop really does have everything a cyclist could need. You've got all sorts of bikes here. Road bikes, time trial bikes, gravel bikes, fat bikes, kids bikes, you've got the lot. Then we've also got every accessory that you could dream of having on your bike. I mean, you know you're in a pretty cool bike shop when the bikes go up and down on these things. I've never seen that before, but I like it. I mean, look at this for a workshop. This puts GCN Mega Base to shame. Wish I had this in my garage. I mean, you literally couldn't need anything else to fix your bike. Wouldn't have any excuses then, would I? So this bike I've seen quite a few times in pictures, but I've never actually seen one in real life before. And this is the collaboration that Savella did with Lamborghini with like this camouflagey orange, gray, white bike. And it's uh, very cool. I have to say it looks just as good in the flesh. Now, if this Wolfie's bike shop wasn't enough, look what they have attached to the bike shop. This is the Colnago Experience Center with a cafe as well. And it looks like quite a good one. And it'd be rude not to have a coffee. So as I mentioned, top of the list for me for a good bike shop has to be good coffee and good cake. And while well, I've got my coffee, so let's do a little taste test. I mean, so it looks cool, very fancy glass. Oh yeah, that's good coffee, 10 out of 10 from me. But also, I mentioned cake, I've actually got one better than cake and got a full on dessert and they look very impressive. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and even enjoy some GCM Plus racing on the screen. Oh, life doesn't get any better. So this bike, you might recognize this, is the bike of Tadej Pogacar when he won the Tour de France. And it is in its original conditions. It's still got the race number on, still got the pedals on and even the race stats on his stem. But it's quite a funny story behind this bike. So Tade was in the white jersey and on a white bike, but obviously last minute changes happened and they had to get this bike that was already painted, but it was in Milan. So they shipped it overnight and the mechanic started working on the bike at 4 a.m. so Tade could ride it on the final stage on the Champs-Élysées of the Tour de France. So the race finished and this bike got shipped straight to Abu Dhabi to the palace. And then after it was at the palace, it came to this bike shop. And two years after the Tour de France, Tade walked into this very bike shop and saw this bike and thought it looked very familiar. So Tade hadn't seen this bike, didn't know where it was until he walked in and saw it here. It's quite a funny story, isn't it? And right next to that yellow iconic bike is the time trial bike of Tade Pogacar that he used at the Tour de France. And a very interesting fact that I've been told about the bike is that the seat clamp has been taken out and they actually glued it in. But can you imagine being that mechanic that had to glue the seat post in? Imagine just getting it a tiny bit wrong and it ruined the race for him. That is a lot of pressure. But right next to this bike is the brand new Colnago time trial bike. And even just the difference in these two bikes, so much has changed in that little time. Do you know who would love this bike? Ollie Bridgewood. This bike is from 1988. 12 year old Ollie would be loving life on this bike. Wait, how old does that make Ollie? Can't do the maths.
There are so many cool bikes to look at here, but this one has definitely caught my eye. Firstly, the gold glitter on the frame. Love that. But this actually says Colnago in Arabic. And another thing I learned today is that they write from right to left. Didn't know that. Okay, so over here is probably one of the most high-tech custom bike building systems I have ever seen. You can literally build your bike from the ground up, from the frame, the size. You can choose any colors and components that you want and you can see it all come together on the screen so you know what your bike's gonna look like. So let's try some different colors. Yellow, probably wouldn't choose yellow. Oh, a bit of pink is nice, but you can go through it build the whole bike. And if the colors on the screen wasn't enough, they actually have all these different colors on frame tubes so you can see exactly what the color will look like in real life. This is probably the most bling bike I have ever seen. But I was just wondering, do you think a gold chain would be too much on this bike? I think not, but let me know what you think down in the comment section. Now, if the bike shop and the Colnago Experience Centre wasn't enough, guess what they have outside? A purpose-built cycling track, which is many, many kilometres long, and it is free of traffic, free of traffic lights, junction, the perfect place to ride your bike. You can go there and train, and they have races on there, which is great. And it's actually where the teams have been training just before the UAE Tour kicks off, and we actually went to see them ride around there the other day. I think this place might have just ticked off everything I am looking for in a bike shop. But let me know down in that comment section below what you think of this place. It is a cyclist dream, isn't it? But I think I'm gonna grab one more coffee and watch the bikes go up and down from the ceiling. Just, just one more time. This still has to be my favorite feature of the bike shop so far. The bikes going up and down on the thingy-ma-bobs. Very cool. <laughs>